السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome to one and all brothers and sisters in Islam صباح الخير Very good morning to one and all الحمد لله رب العالمين Our praise is due to Allah الذي أحيانا بعدما أماتنا The one who has given us life after taking us after giving as death النشور, and to Allah is our return Alhamdulillah we are in the blessed month of Muharram and uh, before we begin once again uh, this morning I hope you're having a wonderful amazing morning and may Allah fill your day with lots of barakah due to the blessings of the Quran inshaAllah ta'ala so let us start our day with some of the recitation of the Qur'an, beginning our session with Umm Al-Kitab Al-Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Right, so today insha'Allah we are reciting page 88 uh, from the Qur'an and uh, this is uh, corresponding with Surah An-Nisa verse 60. So if you have your Mus'haf, let us open, uh, open up to page 88 and we'll begin our recitation Surah An-Nisa verse 60. Or you can follow along the text that will be displayed on the screen. Also, not forgetting to like and share this video with all your friends uh, so that you may be notified in future for all our other uploads. And also, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that man dalla ala khayrin falahu ajru mithla'ili The person who uh, guides another person to do good, he will get the reward like the person who did the action. So for every letter, uh, of uh, Quran which the person your friends hear after you share uh, this video or all our other da'wah videos you will get all the reward inshallah ta'ala right so let us open to uh, page 88 and begin our uh, recitation of isti'adha and basmala a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim ألم تر إلى الذين يزعمون أنهم آمنوا بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى طاغوت وقد أمروا أن يكفروا به ويريد الشيطان أن يضلهم ضلالا بعيدا وإذا قيل لهم تعالوا إلى ما 
أنزل الله وإلى الرسول رأيت المنافقين رأيت المنافقين يصدون عنك صدودا فكيف إذا أصابتهم مصيبة بما قدمت أيديهم ثم جاءوك يحلفون بالله ثم جاءوك يحلفون بالله إن أردنا إلا إحسانا وتوفيقا أولئك الذين يعلم الله ما في قلوبهم فأعرض عنهم وعظهم وقل لهم في أنفسهم قولا بليغا وما أرسلنا من رسول إلا ليطاع بإذن الله ولو أن إنهم إذ ظلموا أنفسهم جاءوك فاستغفروا الله واستغفر لهم الرسول فاستغفروا الله واستغفر لهم الرسول لوجدوا الله توابا رحيما فلا وربك لا يؤمنون حتى يحكموك فيما شجر بينهم ثم لا يجدوا في أنفسهم حرجا مما قضيت ويسلموا تسليما صدق الله العظيم Alhamdulillah, so the verses which we have just recited now, uh, the, some of the outstanding verses uh, in this page, verse 61, uh, Allah says, when it is said to them, come to what Allah has revealed and come to the messenger, then you see the munafiqeen, you see the hypocrites. What are they doing? They turn away from you in aversion. So this is relating to an incident which took place during the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when a matter was raised with uh, some of the munafiqeen and when the judgment was given and it was against them uh, then they looked for other means and they said let us take this ruling to someone else and let us get a second opinion and those kind of things. So let this be a lesson for us that whenever we find a ruling from the Quran, from the Hadith, uh, ever any fatwa which we find that is not according to our desires, does not then look for a second opinion, a third opinion, a fourth opinion and we go hopping uh, from fatwa to fatwa searching and nowadays it is very easy to search everyone has become a mufti uh, they, uh, they go straight to uh, mufti google and search for fatwa and fatwa and obviously google is such a thing that whatever you search for you will find something according to uh, your search and uh, when you find the search then you say oh this one this, this is the one that I accept uh, so let us not do that, but when we hear, we say Samia'na wa ata'na, we hear and we obey. Uh, likewise, whenever there's a ruling of the Sharia, let us take example uh, in Mirath, Fara'id, uh, in the distribution of inheritance, it happens many a times, a person is not happy with their share 
and then they say no let us take it to court and uh, let us see what the judge will do uh, so looking for other ways because they are not happy with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the true iman the true Islam and the true submission that whenever we hear something we do not uh, apply our own desires to it but we say sami'na wa ata'na we hear and we obey O oh Allah all right let us take that and uh, ponder over that for today inshallah uh, don't forget the the masjid is uh, is mostly closed and uh, many of us that used to donate frequently to the masjid we had an opportunity uh, that whenever we come to the masjid we drop a few dollars into the donation box uh, now that uh, many of us do not have that opportunity now but alhamdulillah the pay now is all at the bottom of the screen let us uh, donate something to the masjid inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us until we see you again next time inshallah fi amanillah stay safe Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.